Say it takes a village to raise a child, right? right? And parents know a grandmother can be a big help. I know Brian and I can yes. totally agree with that. Shout out to our moms. Yes. It turns <laughs> out, though, that it's the same for killer whales, believe it or not. Yeah, so a brand new study looking at our resident orcas shows that their chance of survival is greater if grandma is alive. Such a fascinating mm -hmm. study. Simone Del Rosario has more on what scientists are calling the grandmother effect. The grandmother effect for humans and for orcas. Now, here's the thing. There's not a lot of species that go through menopause and then end up living decades beyond. That is something that's unique to humans and a few types of whales like our resident orcas. Now, a study from the Center for Whale Research in Friday Harbor and Exeter University looked to explain why the southern resident orcas evolved like this and what's at stake. Now, I'm going to explain this picture in just a little bit, but first let's take a look at the science. Right now, we're going to be taking a look at the impact of a grandmother on a five year old resident orca. So here's the thing if this orca at five years old has a living grandmother, follow the orange line. This is its rate of survival. So we have survival and the age over here. Now, if it has a reproductive grandmother, one that's still having its own babies, if that grandmother dies at age five, you see that dip in survival. Whoops, we just changed the map right there. So we see that dip in survival over here. But if it has a post reproductive grandmother, a grandmother that's in menopause, and that grandmother dies, you see that survival rate go way down here in this orange line. And that is a trend that we see continue throughout that orca's life. If it's 15 years old, the same effect if it loses that post reproductive grandmother down here. At 20 years old, a huge dive if a 20 year old orca loses a post reproductive grandmother. Let's take a look why. We'll take a closer look at that picture from before. This is granny of them all over on the right. It's J2 known as granny. This is the oldest known southern resident orca ever. She ended up living to be somewhere between 75 and 105 years old, believe it or not. Well, here she is. You can see here her on the right up to the front a little bit up top. There's a little salmon and she's catching that salmon and she's going to go ahead and give that salmon is what was captured on this drone to the orca over on the left, which was wow. an orca that was recently orphaned. Mm. So she caught the salmon and gave it to this orphaned orca. It's a perfect example of the value of a granny, J2, that's here in the 70s right there, that picture. Isn't that great? Wow, really? Yeah. That's incredible. The Center for Whale Research wow. has been tracking these hmm. whales since the 70s. But granny here is so important and it's just such a perfect example and she is of why these post reproductive females are so important to these pods. The study says that the post reproductive females play a bigger role mm. when they can't reproduce because that's when they can spend more time and energy feeding the entire family. J2 was also so critical to the southern resident orca. She knew all of the good hunting grounds. Look, she lived to be about 100 years old. So she had 100 years of knowledge and then also her ancestral knowledge. So just a huge asset to these pods. Now, I have to I have to say the troubling part. We know this is a pod in danger. These are orcas in danger. I talked to University of Washington scientist Deborah Giles, who studies these orcas. She says there's only four grandmothers left mm. oh, for our southern resident wow. orcas. Wow. And when you think about how important it is to see that survival, those grass there just say it all. Mm -hmm. yeah. We know that it's obviously one in trouble, but really a fascinating study to show how important grandmothers are, and we know we yeah. can all relate to yeah, that. Yeah, we can relate to that. We've seen studies over the years showing how important grandparents are to, to young children mm -hmm. and how uh, much more developed they are, yeah. and it's good for their brain, and it's fascinating that it also goes for whales. Yeah, yeah. it's just incredible. And really. studies in your own household, right? Yeah. <laughs> Personal <laughs> studies, Personal like stories. Grandma, I need help. You yeah. need to come take care of the kids. Yeah. I'm <laughs> also, I'm, I'm just amazed as well that the whale lived up to 100 Yes. 75 to 100 years? 75 That's to 105 years old. Incredible. Probably more toward the later end of that right. range. There. Yeah. I mean, absolutely incredible. She died just a few years ago, and actually, we have seen the Southern residents take a, mm -hmm. take a dip since mm -hmm. then. They have struggled yeah. without her leadership. And you just mentioned that one of the pictures was from the 70s. Kudos to those researchers who've mm -hmm. been doing this for decades. We wouldn't know this information absolutely. if it wasn't for their work. Absolutely. Center for Whale Research, very involved in all of this research, and it's great to be able to see new work coming out of that. Yeah, thank you so much, Simone. Thanks, Simone.